Michio Kaku. Something terrifying is about to happen in the Yellowstone Park. Are you ready to witness the awe-inspiring beauty of Yellowstone National Park? Can you handle the mysteries that lie beneath its surface? And what if there's something truly terrifying about to happen? Join us as we seek answers to these questions and venture into the heart of Yellowstone's enigmatic secrets. Hello everyone and welcome back to Future Arc. Today we have an accelerating topic that will leave you on the edge of your seat. We're diving into the fascinating world of Yellowstone National Park and the ominous warning from renowned physicist Michio Kaku. Brace yourselves because something terrifying is about to happen in Yellowstone Park. Yellowstone National Park established on March 1, 1872, has always been a natural marvel, with over 2 million acres of mountain wilderness, breathtaking geysers, and vibrant landscapes. It has captured the hearts of adventurers and nature enthusiasts for generations. However, recent news has added an element of caution to the experience. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku has made a significant announcement that Yellowstone is predicted to erupt in 2023, raising concerns about potential consequences for the United States and the world. Today, we're delving into the details of Kaku's announcement, exploring the implications for the future of the national park and a broader impact on our planet. To truly appreciate the beauty and power of Yellowstone, let's start by exploring one of its iconic features, the Grand Canyon. Approximately 630,000 years ago, a massive volcanic eruption occurred in Yellowstone, emptying a large underground magma chamber and spreading volcanic ash over vast distances. Over time, the collapsed chamber formed a colossal caldera, measuring about 30 miles wide and 45 miles long. Lava and sediments gradually filled the caldera, shaping the landscape we see today. Around 160,000 to 140,000 years ago, the oldest version of the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone began to form from rock and sediments. Over time, hydrothermal activity and forces of water, wind, and earthquakes carved out the multicolored canyon we marvel at today. Now, let's not overlook the intriguing mammoth hot springs, where heat, water, minerals, and limestone combine to create a captivating geological phenomenon. As hot water rises from the depths of the earth, it dissolves calcium carbonate from the underground limestone layers. This dissolved calcium carbonate, known as travertine, is then carried to the surface by the ascending hot springs. The result is a stunning display of terraces and pools, showcasing nature's artistic touch. Moving on, we find ourselves in the heart of Yellowstone's geothermal wonders, the Upper Geyser Basin. This area boasts the highest concentration of geothermal features in the entire park. At its center lies the legendary Old Faithful Geyser, known for its predictability in eruptions. If you're seeking a geyser spectacle, this basin is the place to be, as the park can even forecast eruptions of five major geysers. However, there's a fascinating and somewhat unnerving common element shared by all these geothermal forces. Volcanoes. Yellowstone's close association with volcanic forces is what makes it truly remarkable. From the geysers to the hot springs, these features are manifestations of the immense power lying beneath the park's surface. They remind us that Yellowstone is a living, breathing entity shaped by volcanic activity. But now, something unprecedented and unnerving has occurred in Yellowstone National Park. A colossal crack, spanning a staggering width of 100 feet, has abruptly emerged in the region of Teton. This development has placed park authorities on high alert, leading them to swiftly close off a significant portion of the park for urgent investigations. Teton has had a long history of seismic activity, but the sudden appearance of this massive crack has left scientists puzzled and concerned. Experts from various fields, including geologists, seismologists, and volcanologists, have gathered to analyze the crack and its implications. The crack's appearance has raised questions about the stability of the underlying volcanic system. Could it be a sign of a looming volcanic eruption? This is where Michio Kaku's warning comes into play. Known for his expertise in theoretical physics and his ability to predict natural disasters, Kaku has expressed grave concerns about Yellowstone's future. 
In a recent interview, Kako stated that a crack in Teton could be an indication of a potential catastrophic event. According to Kaku, the crack might be a result of pressure building up within the magma chamber beneath Yellowstone. If the pressure continues to increase, it could trigger a super eruption with devastating consequences. Kaku emphasized that a super eruption from Yellowstone would not only affect the surrounding region but also have global ramifications. The eruption could release an enormous amount of ash and gases into the atmosphere, leading to a significant drop in global temperatures. This sudden climate shift could disrupt agriculture, cause widespread famine, and impact ecosystems around the world. As news of Kaku's warning spread, it sparked both panic and curiosity among the public. Yellowstone's popularity as a tourist destination turned into apprehension, with many questioning whether it was safe to visit the park anymore. Park authorities and scientists were quick to address these concerns, assuring the public that extensive monitoring systems were in place to track any unusual volcanic activity. Seismographs, thermal cameras, and gas sensors were deployed throughout the park, constantly monitoring for any signs of volcanic unrest. These advanced technologies enable scientists to detect even the slightest changes in ground movement, temperature fluctuations, and gas emissions. The data collected from these monitoring systems would provide valuable insights into the volcanic activity and help determine the level of risk. Despite the assurance from experts, the crack in Teton continued to widen, intensifying the sense of unease among both locals and tourists. The National Park Service, in collaboration with government agencies and research institutions, established an emergency response plan to ensure public safety and mitigate potential risks. Evacuation routes were mapped, emergency shelters were set up, and communication channels were established to disseminate real-time information to the public. Education and awareness campaigns were launched to inform people about volcanic hazards what to do in case of an eruption, and how to stay updated with the latest alerts and advisories. Meanwhile, scientists and researchers worked tirelessly to gain a better understanding of the situation. They collected samples of volcanic gases, studied the geological formations, and conducted extensive modeling to simulate various eruption scenarios. The aim was to predict the possible outcomes and devise strategies to minimize the impact. Months passed, and the tension remained high. The crack in Teton had become a symbol of uncertainty, a visible reminder of the potential danger lurking beneath the serene surface of Yellowstone National Park. Visitors were restricted from accessing certain areas, and the park's ambience had transformed into one of caution and anticipation. Then, after months of intensive monitoring and analysis, a breakthrough occurred. Scientists discovered that the widening crack in Teton was not directly linked to the Yellowstone supervolcano. It was a localized geological phenomenon caused by shifting tectonic plates in the region. While this revelation eased immediate concerns of a super eruption, it did not completely eliminate the possibility of future volcanic activity in Yellowstone. The findings prompted a renewed commitment to research and preparedness. The scientific community doubled its efforts to enhance monitoring systems, improve volcanic forecasting techniques, and educate the public about the long-term risks associated with Yellowstone's volcanic activity. As we stand today, Yellowstone National Park remains a place of wonder and awe. The crack in Teton serves as a reminder that our planet is ever-changing and full of mysteries. While the immediate threat of a super eruption has subsided, the crack in Teton reminds us that Yellowstone is an active volcanic region that requires ongoing monitoring and study. Scientists are now focusing on understanding the underlying geological processes that led to the crack's formation. They believe that the movement of tectonic plates, combined with the geothermal activity in the area, contributed to the crack's emergence. By studying these processes, they hope to gain a deeper understanding of the region's volcanic activity and be better prepared for future events. As we conclude our exploration of Yellowstone and the intriguing events surrounding the crack in Teton, we invite you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Have you visited Yellowstone? What are your thoughts on the ongoing research and monitoring efforts? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time.